If your kidneys looked like this, how would you even know? In this video, we'll cover 15 signs that your kidneys are damaged. If you don't take the steps needed to heal them, you could end up with kidney failure. The small bean-shaped organs called kidneys play a crucial role in filtering waste, balancing electrolytes, and controlling blood pressure. Unfortunately, when kidneys don't work properly, it leads to a condition known as kidney disease. Understanding the signs and symptoms of kidney disease is crucial for early detection and treatment. Here are some of these signs and how they affect our body. 1. Skin dryness. One common symptom is skin dryness. Individuals may notice their skin becoming rough and developing a scaly appearance, much like fish scales. This extreme dryness is particularly prevalent among those with advanced kidney disease, requiring treatments like dialysis or a kidney transplant. Along with dryness, intense itchiness is a frequent complaint. This itching can range from mildly annoying to severely disruptive, potentially affecting large areas or the entire body. Frequent scratching can lead to damaged, bleeding skin or even the formation of sores and raised, itchy bumps. For those who find no relief from these symptoms, consulting a dermatologist is advised. Some patients with advanced kidney disease may benefit from a specific treatment called ultraviolet B phototherapy. 2. Skin discoloration Another significant change can be observed in skin color. As kidney function declines and toxins accumulate in the body, this can lead to the skin developing a pale, gray, or yellowish hue. In some cases, darker patches of skin may also appear. Persistent itching and scratching can result in thickened, yellowish skin with pronounced lines and bumps, resembling cysts or whiteheads. However, it's important to remember that such skin changes can also be indicative of other health conditions. 3. Nail discoloration. Moving on to the nails, kidney disease can significantly alter their appearance. Individuals with advanced stages of the disease may notice the upper portion of their nails turning white, with a normal to reddish-brown hue appearing just below this white area. White bands across the nails are also a common occurrence. If you find these tips helpful, we encourage you to show your support by liking this content, subscribing to our channel, and enabling notifications for the latest health and nutrition tips. 4. Skin Rashes In some cases, kidney disease can lead to skin rashes, characterized by small, dome-shaped, extremely itchy bumps. These bumps may clear up only to be replaced by new ones, sometimes merging to form rough, raised patches. Blisters can also develop, particularly on the hands, feet, and face of those with advanced kidney disease. 5. Belly Lump An abdominal lump can be a sign of kidney cancer, especially if it appears on the side of the abdomen, belly, or lower back. While early stages of kidney cancer rarely show symptoms, a noticeable lump may emerge as the cancer progresses. However, abdominal lumps can have various causes, so it's essential to consult a doctor for a proper diagnosis. If you experience any of the mentioned signs and symptoms, it is advisable to seek the expertise of a dermatologist. While not all skin symptoms can be alleviated, many can be managed with appropriate care. 6. Urination Changes One of the first signs of kidney disease is changes in urination patterns. Think of your kidneys as a filtration system. When they start to fail, this system gets disrupted. In the early stages of kidney disease, you might find yourself needing to urinate more often. This happens because your kidneys are working overtime to filter out the wastes from your blood. The urine might also increase in volume, making your trips to the bathroom more frequent. But as the disease progresses to more advanced stages, the scenario changes. Your urine output might decrease because your kidneys are losing their filtering capabilities. In some cases, you might notice blood in your urine, a condition known as hematuria. This can be quite alarming, as it indicates that your kidneys are letting blood cells escape into your urine. Another worrisome sign is foamy urine, which suggests the presence of protein. 
Normally, proteins are too big to pass through the kidney's filtration system, but when the kidneys are damaged, they can sneak through. 7. Peripheral edema. Another sign of kidney disease is something called peripheral edema. Imagine your body's tissues absorbing fluid like a sponge. This fluid buildup causes swelling, especially in the legs and ankles. One type of this swelling is known as pitting edema. If you press on the swollen area, it leaves a dent, or a pit, that slowly fills back in. This is a telltale sign of fluid overload in the body. But why does this happen? Well, when your kidneys aren't working right, they can't get rid of extra fluid as they should. This excess fluid then accumulates in your tissues, causing swelling. A specific kidney condition called nephrotic syndrome can also lead to peripheral edema. In nephrotic syndrome, your kidneys lose a lot of protein, particularly albumin. Albumin is like a sponge that soaks up fluid in your bloodstream. Without enough albumin, fluid leaks out of your blood vessels and into your tissues, causing swelling. 8. High blood pressure. This is a common problem for people with kidney disease. Remember how we said that the kidneys help control blood pressure? They do this by regulating the volume of fluid circulating in your blood vessels. If your kidneys are not removing enough fluid, this volume increases, kind of like adding more water to an already full balloon. This extra fluid puts more pressure on your blood vessel walls, leading to high blood pressure. 9. Respiratory Symptoms Dyspnea and Chest Pain When kidney disease progresses, it can have surprising effects on our respiratory system, particularly in how we breathe and experience chest pain. This is largely due to a condition called fluid overload, which occurs when the kidneys fail to eliminate excess fluid from the body. As a result, this extra fluid can accumulate in the wrong places, including the thorax, the area of the body where our lungs and heart reside. Imagine your chest cavity like a balloon. If you pour too much water into the balloon, it stretches and strains under the pressure. Similarly, when fluid accumulates in the thorax, it puts pressure on the lungs and heart. This can lead to dyspnea, a medical term for difficulty in breathing or shortness of breath. It's like trying to breathe deeply while wearing a tight corset. It just doesn't feel comfortable or easy. Moreover, the added pressure can also lead to chest pain. This happens because the heart is working harder to pump blood through the fluid-filled spaces, causing discomfort and pain. It's a sign that the body is struggling and a clear indicator of the severity of kidney disease. 10. Sleep Disturbances and Fatigue One of the key functions of the kidneys is to filter out toxins from our blood. When the kidneys are damaged, they can't do this effectively, leading to a buildup of toxins in the body. This toxin accumulation can wreak havoc on our sleep patterns. People with kidney disease often find it hard to fall asleep or stay asleep, leading to restless nights and groggy mornings. These same toxins that disrupt sleep can also cause fatigue during the day. You can feel constantly run down, as if you're carrying a heavy backpack all the time. 11. Muscle Twitching and Spasms Muscle twitching and spasms are another set of symptoms that are primarily caused by electrolyte imbalances in the body, a common issue in kidney disease. Electrolytes are minerals like calcium and phosphate, which are crucial for many body functions, including muscle contractions. When the kidneys aren't working properly, they can't maintain the right balance of these minerals. Often, calcium levels drop while phosphate levels rise, leading to muscle problems. Low calcium can make muscles twitch or spasm involuntarily like a sudden, unexpected shiver or jerk that you can't control. 12. Anemia. Anemia is a condition characterized by a lack of enough healthy red blood cells to carry adequate oxygen to the body's tissues. The link between kidney disease and anemia centers around a hormone called erythropoietin, or EPO. In a healthy body, the kidneys produce EPO which then stimulates the bone marrow to make red blood cells. However, when the kidneys are damaged, they produce less EPO. As a result, the bone marrow makes fewer red blood cells, leading to anemia. One analogy is, 
Imagine your body as a city and the red blood cells as delivery trucks carrying oxygen to different parts of the city. If there aren't enough trucks, parts of the city don't get the oxygen they need, causing fatigue and other symptoms associated with anemia. 13. Uremia Kidney disease can lead to a complex condition known as uremia, where urea and other waste products build up in the blood because the kidneys can no longer eliminate them effectively. This accumulation can have a wide range of effects on the body, leading to various symptoms and complications. One such condition is uremic pericarditis, where the lining around the heart becomes inflamed. This can cause chest pain and other heart-related symptoms. Another serious condition is uremic encephalopathy, which affects brain function. Patients with this condition may experience confusion, changes in mental status, or even coma in severe cases. Asterixis, a type of tremor, is another symptom of uremia. It's a flapping tremor noticeable when a person extends their arms. It's like their hands are briefly losing control, then snapping back into position. Pruritus or severe itching is another common symptom associated with uremia. This itching can be intense and persistent, leading to discomfort and skin damage due to scratching. 14. Nausea and vomiting. Uremia can also significantly impact the gastrointestinal system. Patients often experience nausea and vomiting, which can be distressing and lead to a decreased appetite, known as anorexia. This loss of appetite can, in turn, lead to weight loss and general weakness. It's like a chain reaction starting from the kidneys and affecting the digestive system. 15. Bleeding Issues Uremia affects not just organs, but also blood components, like platelets. Platelets are crucial for blood clotting, and when they don't function properly due to uremia, it can lead to bleeding issues. This might manifest as gingival bleeding, bleeding gums, epistaxis, nosebleeds, petechiae, small red or purple spots on the skin, purpura, larger purple spots or patches, and easy bruising. It's as though the body's natural band-aid system is out of order, leading to increased bleeding risks. Thank you for watching today's video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more health-related content. See you in the next video.